सेक्शन थ्री टॉपिक नंबर थ्री पॉइंट वन समरी राइटिंग समरी राइटिंग द डेफिनेशन ऑफ समरी राइटिंग इज टू गिव द इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ गिवन पैराग्राफ इन शॉर्ट इट हैज एन अदर नेम प्रिज राइटिंग बट इन समरी राइटिंग we must take care of we must take care of the following points number 1 a read and reread the passage read and reread the passage means if you do not understand this paragraph clearly you should try you should read this paragraph again so that you can get exact idea or the exact point from given paragraph second point understand <laughs> understand you should understand this paragraph clearly without understanding you can't get any type of idea related with this paragraph next point read the instructions without reading instructions you do not make any type of summary means important points so explanation next point find exactly find exactly what you need to summarize means excess material from given paragraph should be neglected means you should need to summarize exactly what you need excess explanation is not expected from the examiner accurate points sub points and ex examples are expected from the examiner next point identify the main idea through the process of asking questions and the teacher should ask different types of the questions to the students and with the help of the answer we can get the idea we can get the gist related with the summary writing form a short sentences on your own form short sentences on your own long descriptive sentences are not expected from the students short answers short sentences should be expected from you at that time of making summary connect the sentences using linkers this in the sentences you should use the linking words means the link of one sentence is related to another so the link should be link should be eligible at that time of making summary so you should not take or you do not break any type of the link related with the summary so that we can get we can understand the exact meaning of given summary with the help of the sentences made by you remove redundant words and the sentences from the key sentences extra or extra examples do not take in your answer because the size of the summary is not eligible or not accepted by the examiner so short every bit summary is expected from the students omit details summary should not be given in detail in descriptive descriptive type 12 sentences 10 sentences or 20 sentences students are writing descriptive summary like paragraph writing the paragraph writing is not expected 
from the students abbreviate summary with the important points are expected from the students avoid your own interpretations whenever we are writing summary whenever we are writing summary we are using our own points own interpretations own explanation in our summary that is not expected from the answer maker or the summary writer so use the following steps for summary writing step number 1 read the article twice article means paragraph you should read reread the paragraph carefully so that you can get the exact idea of given paragraph then you come to conclusion that the writing is very apt one ask questions means for the writing purpose without asking questions we are not getting any any type of idea related with the given summary main points are main points are expected expected by the examiner in our answer sheet so you should write main points underline those points and write the first draft means a summary should be draft in at least in 6 at least 5 to 6 sentences means 60 to 70 words that summary will be very attractive in summary writing the important points are expected by the examiner those points are tpcl t p c l four points are expected by the examiner t p c l t means title t means title of given summary title is very important because it carries one mark second point presentation presentation is the second point of summary writing we should present this paragraph we should present this paragraph according to given subject matter next one content content this is the third point content and last point last point is language skill this is the last point language skill that language skill is very important point in summary writing language skill title title means the headline title means the headline of given paragraph next one p for presentation you should write step wise you should write a step wise summary of given paragraph contain the basic thing or the basic need of the examiner should be depicted or written on your answer sheet language is it means grammatically grammatical skill is very important in language skill our sentences should be written in a abbreviated way or in passive construction short sentences are expected from the examiner don't write the descriptive paragraph in your writing otherwise the summary will not get get at least two to three marks so summary writing is very skillful skillful business of skillful business of the student so you should take care of those important points at that time of writing summary on your answer sheet i have decided to read one short paragraph for your understanding for making summary so on page number 138 paragraph for summary writing communication is a part of our everyday life we greet one another smile or frown depending on our moods animals do communicate 
much to our surprise. Just like, like us, interaction, interaction among animals can be both verbal and non-verbal. Singing is a way which animal can interact with one another. Male blackbird often use their melodious song to catch the attention of female. The songs are usually rich in note variation, encoding various kinds of messages. Songs are also used to form and keep up our blackbirds. From their territory, usually a place where they dwell and reproduce. Here is one paragraph for summary writing. In the same paragraph, communication. This word is given. Communication means talking pattern. We are talking with each other, communicating with each other. Interaction one man to another man. So sometimes we are smiling, smiling. Sometimes we are very angry with each other. But smile and angry mood are also ways of communication. So for the communication, the writer has given examples of man and animal. Man and animal. Man is also interacting with each other. For example, you are very happy. In a happy mood, you are smiling. If you do not like the idea or the speech of your friend, you are very angry with them. This is also angry communication made by you. Singing birds. The birds are singing. The birds are singing in order to attract their friends. For example, blackbird. Blackbird is example given in our paragraph that a blackbird is singing. That blackbird is singing for attracting his friend towards him. That time he is using various type of notes, various type of notes encoding languages sometimes he is also using different types of messages the song is used to keep keep their friend very happy sometimes one bird is in a, a very critical area that time the bird is singing the song and that singing song is the signal to his friend and that friend is slowly or in a fast mode attracting towards that song. Usually the place they were dwell and reproduce. Now the next paragraph, last paragraph of summary writing. Large mammals in the ocean seems to, according to adventurous seller, enormous whale grown and grunt while a smaller dolphin and porpoises produces pigs, whistle and click. These sounds are surprisingly received by the other mates as far as several hundred kilometers away. The last example in our summary writing is large mammals. Large mammals are also available in our ocean. They are also reproducing, making different types of sound or singing the song in order to attract the small animals, small animals towards him would seem so that is a signal that is signal given in this paragraph that smaller animals are smaller dolphins the biggest dolphin attracting the smaller dolphin towards him at that time the dolphin is singing the song or whistling surprisingly it is in the mates for the several hundred kilometers for the several hundred kilometers that sound Note of the sound is reaching, but that animals know the, know the sound, are familiar with that sound. So, in a fast mode, though the small dolphins are attracting towards the big dolphin. This is our translation of paragraph. What we understand from this paragraph, and from this paragraph, we understand that the communication is the best way. Communication is the best way for man and animal to express their feelings. Those ex 
फीलिंग्स आर एक्सप्रेस विद द हेल्प ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन इफ द कम्युनिकेशन वर्बल और नॉन वर्बल दैट कम्युनिकेशन वर्बल और नॉन वर्बल बट कम्युनिकेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द डिफरेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिफरेंट क्लास ऑफ द पीपल डिफरेंट क्लास ऑफ द एनिमल्स सो इन दिस पैराग्राफ द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द ब्लैक बर्ड इज गिवन That black bird is whistling in order to attract his friend. So he whistling, encoding, signaling. Different types of the different types of gestures are done by that black bird. And in the last paragraph, the writer has explained the example of mammals. That is the biggest dolphin. The biggest dolphin is singing the song. in order to attract the smallest dolphin towards him sometime he is using the coding language and that coding language grunting grunting or groaning but we do not we do not listen we do not listen those grunting or groaning sound of groaning sound because that sound is created in water because animals are living on the ground but the fishes or fishes are living in the water so we do not understand the exact idea only the idea can be understood by the mammals like a biggest dolphin to smallest dolphin here ends the translation or the important point of our summary writing thank you